Hey guys, I'm John Gregory Smith and I am super excited to be on the Waitrose channel and today I've got a banger for you, the ultimate fish finger sandwich. And do you know why it's so good? Lovely, crunchy fish fingers, which are just so nostalgic. And the ultimate mayonnaise. This one's got a lovely umami flavor from the sun-dried tomatoes and a little pop from some pomegranate molasses, one of my favorite stall cupboard staples. It is divine. The inspiration for this fish finger sarni came about because one of my friends said they weren't worthy of a recipe. Now, I think they're one of the greatest ingredients. Shove them in the freezer, they're there when you want them, and we all love them. I mean, who didn't have them when you were little? But this one is for grown-ups, so you will love it. To start off, I'm gonna make the ultimate mayo, okay? So we're gonna use mayonnaise, obviously, but I wanna add some lovely ingredients to really give it a little bit of welly. Starting off, I've got some beautiful tomatoes. These just have the ultimate pop of flavor and absolutely delicious. So you want about four or five in the blender. Don't worry about getting that oil in because it's extra flavor as well. This is a slight riff on your classic red pesto. So think that really lovely vibe that you know and love already. That looks just perfect. That oil, by the way, the best oil for salad dressings. Never, ever throw it away. To add to that, I want a little bit of a tang. So lemon is what you'd normally use in a pesto, but I'm gonna use pomegranate molasses and it really does have like the most amazing smell. This takes me straight over to the Middle East. It's gorgeous. It's the molasses of the pomegranates, the juice cooked down into this beautiful, sticky, look at that, hot mess. Absolutely divine, sweet, it's sour, a little bit like a balsamic vinegar. And this is great in any salad dressings you like. It's delicious. Finally, I want a little warmth. So I've got some Turkish pepper flakes. They're also known as pulbi burr, and I love them. And there's something I use in my book, Fast Feast, a lot. And they have a lovely mild hum, like a very weak chili. They're great for kids, and you can use them in so many things, from salad dressings to scattering over some eggs in the morning or putting them in a pesto like this they really are wonderful and they have like an unbelievably smoky smell and if you look at that color it is sunshine red it's beautiful so you can use these in place of chili flakes and if you can't find them just use a chili flake that you like something mild or even a little bit of hot smoked paprika these are a brilliant thing to have in the store cupboard and that's it I'm just going to give it a little blend if you fancy making this yourself the link to the recipe is in the description below Look at this, come and look at this. It's beautiful texture. The smell of this is off the dial. You've got the sweetness from the sun-dried tomatoes, that little tang from the pomegranate molasses, but you can smell it straight away. It's absolutely divine. Now let's add that to some mayonnaise. So I've got standard shop-bought mayo. I mean, if you're gonna make this in the week and this is a great weeknight meal, you want shop-bought mayo, squeeze that into a bowl, nice and easy. I'm gonna do enough for four and it will last perfectly in the fridge for a few days. And then I'm gonna add in those beautiful, smoky, tangy tomatoes. A fish finger sandwich, I'm even smirking thinking about it, with mayo and ketchup. Look at the grin! And a bit of butter is divine, but this is next level. Look at that. So we'll just stir this through, and then when you have that with those beautiful, crispy fish fingers, it's so delicious. I wish you could smell this. Oh, I wish you could taste it. Best thing about fish fingers, we've all got them. Everybody has them lurking in the freezer, so you can totally make this whenever you like in literally 15 minutes, it's that easy. When I was younger, we used to have fish finger sandwiches all the time, and my cousin used to come and babysit, and she would always make them for us. They were so good, and I remember thinking they were one of those like super special dishes. And then little did I realize, you know, as a grown up, what I love is they are just the most easy, everyday things, but you can totally take them any way you like, from just a dunk in a bit of ketchup to something more special like this. Now that's the hard work done. I promised you this was super easy. I'm gonna use half the mayo for two sandwiches and leave the rest in the fridge for the next few days. And do you know what? If you've got any roasted veggies, this is their best friend. I'm just gonna pop this to one side, do a bit of a clear up before I make those sandwiches. Travel for me is so important because that's where I get my inspiration from. For my last book, I spent nearly three months in Lebanon, driving around in a car with no sat-nav, no grasp of Arabic, and it was amazing. I, <laughs> I believe it or not, I learned so much. And then over the last few years, you know, I haven't been, eight, like, like all of us, travel's been off the table. So I did something that I've never done before in my career. I started traveling from my sofa to countries like Iran, Iraq, 
Afghanistan and learning about the food, the cuisine and the flavors and then using that as inspiration. And it, and it actually was kind of amazing because I learned so much without going anywhere and it was lovely because it sort of gave me that tickle as if I was traveling. My new book, Fast Feast, is all about quick and easy cooking, right? So it's everyday easy recipes with a Middle Eastern twist. And what we've done is we've divided it up. When I say we, by the way, it's not royal we. It's, there's a whole publishing team who helped me make it look as beautiful and shelf ready as it does. But we've divided it up into chapters. So you've got midweek meals that you literally can bang out like that, comfort food. There's these amazing hot dogs, chorizo, pappardelle, frying pan pizzas. We've got easy entertaining. So things that feel perhaps a little bit more special, but are just as quick and easy to make. And then we've got working from home lunches because a lot of you lot will be working from home way more than you ever have done. So I wanted a chapter on things that you could really genuinely make in under 10 minutes between Zoom calls and eat something delicious. Now look at these little beauties. They've just come out of the oven. They're golden, crispy. The smell is amazing. Just cook them off to packet instructions. And today I'm using the Waitrose Essential. They are fab and they're certified as sustainable to the MSC standard. So one of my guilty pleasures is dunking a whole fish finger into some mayonnaise and just having it like that. I absolutely love it and I would love to know how you do yours. What is your favorite way to have your fish fingers? Let me know in the comments below. To go in my sarni, I want a little bit of crunch. So I've got some little gem leaves that I've just washed and picked. I'm just gonna finely slice them to get a little proper color, a little, little crunch. Absolutely delicious. And you could obviously use any salad that you've got in the fridge. I just love the sweetness of these. And then the best bit, we get to build the sandwich. All great sarnies need wicked bread. And I'm using proper, lovely, old school, white sliced farmhouse bread. And it has the best, look at that, springy, squidgy, gorgeous texture that you know you're just gonna bite into. And you could obviously use any bread you like, no rules, but if you've got any leftover, pop it in the freezer for the next time you want it. Right, let's build these sandwiches. I've got my two slices of bread. I'm gonna put the beautiful, look at that, mayo, big old dollop of that. You can't go wrong. And just spread that all over. And honestly, the flavor of the sun-dried tomatoes and the pomegranates, look at the grin, it's so good. So just slather that on. I'm gonna go in with those fish fingers. Now, I think four, any less than four just doesn't work for me. So you just nestle those beautiful crispy fish fingers into that mayo. It always starts to melt the mayo, it's wonderful. This is definitely not fine dining, but I tell you what, it is utterly delicious. So you get this in your sandwich, however you like it, and just love every mouthful. Some of that lettuce, I'm just gonna pile it on, and it just gives that really nice little crunch to go with the fish fingers. And lastly, like I'm a chili freak, I love it. So a bit of hot sauce. You can go as heavy or as easy or totally just leave this out as you like. I just love the kick of it. I'm, li I'm literally like salivating right now, can't wait. You can eat these all year round and they'll bring a little bit of joy to your evenings, trust me. Look at that, doesn't that look amazing? <laughs> I'm gonna cut open. I'm gonna show you guys quite how special this is. And it's so easy. And then I'm gonna get my chops around it. Look at that. Beautiful fish fingers, that salad. You can just see that mayo oh, oozing out. Dinner time, cheers. It's so delicious. I've also sort of got it all over my face, but do you know what? I don't care. You can taste all of those wonderful flavors. You've got those beautiful fish fingers and then that wicked mayo, the sun-dried tomatoes, pomegranate molasses, the smoky Paulby bear. If you love this recipe, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for notifications for more recipe videos. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the recipe as much as I do. It's such a banger. I can't wait for you to try it. Let us know what you think in the comments below. I'm off to go and stuff my face with the rest of this. Mm. Beautiful.